Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Your Average Roofer, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly install drip edge and rake edge on your roof. Drip edge is important on your roof because it stops water from penetrating below your shingles and damaging various parts of your roof. Originally, your roof might not have drip edge or rake edge, but it's required by most codes nowadays. So there's a common misconception when it comes to installing your eaves uh, drip edge. Most people seem to think it's okay to go over your underlayment. It's actually required by most manufacturers and code to go underneath along your eaves and to go above your underlayment along the rakes. So when you first go to install your eave uh, drip edge along the bottoms, what you're going to do is you're going to measure out your roof. So in this case, we'll pull out our tape measure just to show you guys what's going on here. You're going to hook your far end rake all the way to this side and we have exactly eight feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this first drip edge at exactly eight feet. Okay, so now you got your drip edge marked out. You got your straight line on it exactly at your eight foot mark. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cut that straight across. The reason we use a straight edge is to make sure we can get it straight because you don't want anything overhanging the gable because that will impede on your rake edge. Okay, now you got your first piece of drip edge cut. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your underlayment and you're gonna tuck that right into the roof line. And you're gonna make sure you're not overhanging your gable at all. It's better to be a little bit in than too far out because like I said, it will impede your rake edge. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna nail your eaves drip edge every 16 inches. And when you're nailing your drip edge, make sure you're holding it tight onto the roof line. That way it stays nice and tight, but not too tight against your fascia board. Once they put their fascia metal up behind there, you want it to tuck up right behind your drip edge. That way all the water that comes off will drip out in front of the fascia metal and into your trough. Now for your rake edge metal, it's not always required by code. And a lot of contractors nowadays, I've seen roofs that don't even put it up their gables. We like to put it up all of our gables and what that does is it protects against any wind driven rain that can get under the shingles and it also covers this exposed plywood. So when you're installing your rake edge, um, you're gonna take your piece of metal. We're just gonna use the two foot cutoff for this just for example purposes. So what you're gonna do when you have this is you're gonna take it onto your roof line and you're gonna come down over this drip edge right to the corner and as you can see, it sticks out a little bit. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut this end back and tuck it around the corner and that way it'll perfectly seal the whole corner of the roof. So as you can see, I drew two different lines. I drew one on the vertical and one up the horizontal uh, rake of the roof. We're only gonna cut this inside one and this is where we're gonna wrap it around the corner. Okay, now we got the drip edge cut along the vertical line or horizontal line, sorry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bend it around the corner. And that's gonna hook right into your other drip edge along the eaves, just like so. And then just like your drip edge along the bottoms, your rake edge, you're gonna nail every 16 inches. When you're installing up your gable end or even on your bottom, when you get to your next piece of drip edge, what you wanna do is you wanna interlock the ends by about a quarter inch, and that way they lock in together and it just makes a smoother finish. Um, some, some contractors you'll see they'll actually just butt it up like that. And what that does is it leaves a gap and water can penetrate below the next piece. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over top and you're gonna take your hammer and just lock it into place and as you can see now if water gets onto this drip edge from any wind driven rain it's going to come right down over top of the next one to the bottom of the roof and that'll protect your plywood fully so when you get to the very top of your roof and you reach the ridge you're gonna have a crossover piece. And what that's gonna do is you're pretty much doing the final finish on the top of your roof and you want it to look nice and clean and professional. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So when you get to the very top of your roof, you can see your pieces are gonna intersect like so to close that off as tight as you can. And right here is what I'm talking about as your finish. You wanna make sure that cut is perfectly vertical to your roof line. So to cut that piece vertical with your ridge line, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pencil you're gonna find where the top of your cut is going to be, which will be right there. And then you're gonna come down to where your rafter, or sorry, your uh, truss rather, um, will tie in. And that'll be your straight cut right there. And this piece will be your closing piece. That'll be behind it. This will be your finish. And that's the protection behind it. It's marked out. You're gonna go ahead and cut it off. That's everything for today's video on how to install drip edge along your eaves and along the rakes of your roof and how to finish it all the way to the ridge if you guys have any comments or questions be sure to comment down below and i will get back to you and if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos